Power made the final here last year, losing out to Jancha Khan to finish as runner-up. But if he's to go one better in 98, he's going to have to overcome a very determined Simon Park in this semi-final. With some long matches so far in this tournament, Park's played a lot of squash this week, but he won't mind that as he tries to pick up his first major championship win. But what of his opponent? Well, Jonathan Parr had a miserable close season last year, falling foul to both back and ankle injuries after a promising Super Series start. But he's on blistering form here, nine games in three matches, not one of them lasting over 30 minutes. Yeah, it's been a bit frustrating last year. I mean, every time I get real close to number one, all I had to do is just basically show up at the tournament and play a good squash. I'd get to that number one spot and then suddenly I'd be plagued by injury, so it's been a bit frustrating, but uh, I've put on a happy face since then. I just feel like uh, when I'm in good humor and good spirits and uh, my squash usually reflects that out on the court, so hopefully I'll carry it through today in the semifinals against Simon. It all depends on how Simon plays and how, how I play, you know, it's on the day, so uh, if I go out and play well, let's hope it it's quick. But uh, we'll see, I'll try to put on... Uh, my happy face today with the referee, but uh, I don't know, it could turn nasty in a minute's notice. Fighting talk then from the Canadian, but Simon Park as the two men take to the court. With a reputation for hot headedness, Jonathan often distracts his opponent with his on court antics. But in a tournament as prestigious as this, Simon should be able to handle the pressure and keep focused on the game at hand. And remember, there's a place in the final waiting for the winner of this match. So we're doubtless going to witness a world-class struggle. How to serve, how to receive, best of five games, love all. So it's Simon to get the ball into play for this second semi-final. I think everybody's now well aware of Jonathan Parr's confidence in playing most people. He's had great success against Simon, but Simon's form over the last couple of months has been impressive. One love. He's quite considerably stronger now. than he was a year ago. One all. And has been working hard on all aspects of his game. Getting himself into the late stages Down. of virtually all the major events. Ten out. Two, one. And of course, Jonathan Parr has done well to get over the draining series of injuries that he's had. Had a very, very difficult year. No let. No let. And it says Three, an enormous amount, not only for his ability, but also for his determination that he's found his way back to the very highest level in professional squash in such a short Hello. period of time. And now, two, three. He'll be looking to control the game, to break the rhythm Down. of his opponent, Hello. working the ball as he was then. Four, two. And Simon knows that he has to keep the pressure on, that he cannot afford to give Jonathan the front court with time and then Jonathan can use his much feared talent for deception. The great rhythm breaker yeah. there again, going for the long drop from behind. Five, Not successful, three. but always prepared to attack. But it's a good start for Simon. Tight ball recovered.
We saw the flicky wrist in the front court from Jonathan. Oh, and he's totally uh, deceived the Yorkshireman there. S Simon had no idea where that ball was going. Another planet. Three, five. So still with the advantage, and it's been a cracker this first game. Out. And it's certainly looking good for Four Simon. Game, 11, game ball. Game ball. Get the first game under his belt. But you cannot Out. afford to set Jonathan up like that. That's a lesson for life for Simon. 12, 14, game ball. Second game ball, though. Dr. Jonathan Power. looking for the stroke. And given. 14, Not tight ball. enough to the side wall. Too close to Simon. Third game ball. And now a little bit more pressure on the Yorkshireman. Both players now really hunting the ball. And that's great width and depth from Simon game Park and 15, the first game, 15-13. And that's actually the first game in this tournament that Jonathan Parr has dropped. And all credit to Simon playing high-quality squash, well-deserved start. We just have another look at this final point. The quality was developing as the first game went on and the end game was especially exciting Jonathan here trying to get depth doesn't quite make it across the court down the middle and then an unorthodox backhand width and depth absolutely superb from Simon so it's Simon Park with the advantage after the first game join us after the break for more Super Series action So welcome back to the 1998 Cathay Pacific Hong Kong Open. And as we rejoin the second semi-final, Jonathan Power has now levelled the score at one game all. And it's total parity at 10 all in the third. Well, the second semi-final is at this stage going very much the way of the first one which was a real cliffhanger and this is ever so tight nothing in it and the languid forehand volley <laughs> typifies the expertise of Jonathan 11, Power 10. edges him to an 11-10 lead Simon Park Just let. Just let. as busy as ever, always urgently trying to take the game to his opponent and the more languid Jonathan Power. Dr. Power. Dr. Power, 12, 10. Tries to set his rhythm on the match and most professional players find him the most difficult of all the current world stars to take on. Now that Jancha Khan has lost a little bit of his momentum. Down. And an error, that is a sad one at this stage. 13, 10. Not overly squeezed and three point gap. But one and pulled out. back. Jonathan trying to force yeah, it a little bit there. Yeah. Just nicking the top of the tin. Good work down the backhand wall from both parties. And then the switch to the other side. Down. 
well. Jonathan going in again. Good position. But a second error. So he's feeding back the points to Simon at this stage. Tight ball. Just retrieved. Jonathan stopping. They have no room to hit the ball. The back finger. And then Zero. Simon unhappy 14, with 12. the stroke decision. Game ball. Jonathan stopping, looking for the stroke, getting it, and game ball for the vital 2 1 lead. Tight little power drop. He squeezed yes, it. Let. Yes, let. Yes, let. And a let given. Yes, let. Right box. The genuinely well. anguished Game Canadian. Ball. I don't think any play acting there. So Simon's still in with another chance. But he's ragged. Jonathan attacking from all quarters of the court. Simon now on top. And then, unfortunately, just out of position, awkwardly played the ball. And Jonathan takes the third, 15-12, and a 2-1 lead. And that's a terrific recovery from one game down to dominate the second and now has his nose ahead. This is a typical rally in top-class squash. Simon actually controls early on. Keeps Jonathan under pressure. Jonathan retrieves well, gradually works his position back with some solid work down the backhand wall. Takes Simon to the rear. Jonathan in front at the tee. Forehand volley on the poor width. Decisive finish, Simon down and out. So it must be a slightly relieved Jonathan Power who now is in the ascendancy. And Simon Park has to be very positive in his approach, having not had success uh, against Jonathan Power. He's now got to one love. work his way back into this match in this fourth game. Shut out the negative factors. He showed early on the quality of no his lead. work. No lead. And I was about to add also to try to ensure that his body language certainly doesn't give any momentum to his opponent. Again, that front position for Jonathan that he loves. And very rarely doesn't capitalize when he has that, but Simon got out of it. That's well earned. Two, one. He had to scramble a lot. And one question has been posed as to just how fit Jonathan Parr is at this stage of his recovery from those injuries. He's cruised through this tournament and this is by far the toughest match. Can Simon just produce that little bit extra? Get back into the match and take Jonathan into a fifth, but it doesn't look like it. Tight ball gives Jonathan the three-point lead. Two points from victory and a place in the final. Simon going in short. Jonathan just picking it up. Good position for Simon, takes him deep. And then the winner across the face of the front wall. Jonathan looking for the let. No let. No let. And no let is given. Absolutely correctly. 
Well out of position, good choice of shot. 11, 13. Jonathan positive right from the beginning of the rally. Now tight. And soon as he gets the opportunity, he goes in short. Simon trying to counter. Yes, let. No! Jonathan looking for the stroke. Play let. Yes, let. It's the exact same thing. Do you push him in the front? Because I was on it so early. Play let. So the referee standing firm. No cheap points here at the back end of the fourth. I'm in again cross court, but the wrist work to recover. Forehand volley, not quite good enough. Again, a wristy recovery from the front forehand from Jonathan Power. Very tight short volley on the backhand, and then a tight forehand drop. No! Simon asking for a let. Because you're on the other way, and he's going into the ball. That's interference. Yes, let. Play on, please. Play the down ball and perfect. 11, 13. Well, the code of conduct can be brought to bear in this sort of situation. Stop. This time he gets an error Can and I it gives him match point. 11, match four. Well worked drive, just got back from Simon, very well got back. Oh, this is a gut wrencher of a rally. Both of them stretched and Jonathan then with the fertile wrist. Across court, thinks he's won it. The pickup was down. That's the power. Simon looking for the let. The decision's been given. Oh, the ball is down. The pickup is down. Shaking of the hands. Jonathan Power through to the final of the Cathay Pacific Hong Kong Open. Nice to power. 13, 15, 15, 8, 15, 12, 15, 11. So here's the controversial final point again. Cross court drop. Jonathan just underneath it, Simon in pole position, pressure depth cross court, but look how the magical wrist turns the tables. And this is what all the argument was about. Simon going one way, being taken the other, across he comes, a desperate lunge to the ball, his racket moves underneath. Does he get it? I'll leave it to you to decide. The referee said no. So a disappointed Simon taken out again by the Canadian. Yeah, I was really working hard there and I think I got him working really hard as well. Some really tough rallies there. Um, but he just got in there in the end and played played a little bit tighter. It was a bit distracting, all his, all his shouting and stuff. I was starting to get on my nerves, but I tried to concentrate, put it out of my mind, and not think about the referee's decision. But it was a, a signal to go out on the, on the last point like that. I was trying to just get it to the back. It's re it was a really dead court, and I was just trying to hit the back wall, basically, and get a good length, good width. Uh, there was times where I was really trying to hit it through, and I thought, this is going to be a good length, and then it would clip the wall and give him a good position, so that was frustrating. But in general, especially in the middle of the match, I was playing quite well.